Hey, V. Happy to see me? Not exactly. Blacked out, then woke up here. I miss anything? Shame you couldn't watch. It was my magnum opus. You loved it. Mean yours and rogues, don't you? Rogue's dead. I'm sorry. Afraid things are pretty shit for me, too. Alt's hit me with Soul Killer. My nerves are in shreds. Alt? Gonna show yourself? Say hi, maybe? I'm an engram now. A construct. Fuck. Yeah, well, welcome to the club. Hey, Alt, you here? Told me she's finishing the checksum, and she'll copy me back over into my flesh. So we at the finish line? It's all in Alt's hands now. No. What the hell? Alt? I made a mistake in excluding the body as a factor. DNA reconfiguration has progressed too far. Added to aggressive, invasive medications, the body's immune system attacking its own neurons. Spit it out! In human terms! V will die independent of what I do. This is inevitable. This is imminent. Check again. If V's engram is damaged, can't you fix her? Hardware. Therein lies the problem. The organism's neurons have been dying for a time. Any attempt at a procedure upon its brain would result in the latter's death. You're a fucking genius! Think of something! Enough! Johnny, shut up! I need to think. Oh, come on. There's got to be a way out of this. The biochip has irreversibly changed the host organism. It no longer belongs to V, who is an intruder there. The situation is different for you. All changes were made to accommodate you. Tell your ex to kick me out of my own body. The changes are irreversible. You have nothing left to lose. He has everything to gain. I will not interfere in your personal affairs, but while Johnny has full control, he can do what he wishes. You know, Alt might have a point. Your luck's run out. Mine hasn't just yet. I just want to discuss our options, calmly. Let's just think a sec about what to do. Yeah, I wouldn't mind hanging around a while longer. Johnny, my friend. What do I do, Alt? Simply enter the well. You will be reborn in V's body, while V becomes a part of me. Listen, Johnny, I'm glad we met, got to know each other, and I'm sorry. I don't want to die. Who does? I just don't see a way out. Talk to the best of Sophia. Yeah. Said you'd take a bullet from me. And I haven't changed my mind. But this bullet's aimed my way. So I just gotta make sure I don't drag you down into the grave with me.
Johnny. Don't make this any harder, eh? Just... Don't forget I came around. Gotta say, update's quite an improvement. Stop talking to you, V. Hmm. Leave this lying around. Got a bit of time. Think I'll manage to swing by and visit you too. Not much, but I'm all right with that. Gonna need a ride. Steve. Gotta talk to Steve. Because I got that new album from Curse These Metal Hands. First four tracks? Preen genius. Been practicing those chord progressions? Yeah, but I keep botching them. Doubt I'll ever play it smooth. I practice. Practice, Chumba. You'll get it in the end. Eventually won't even have to think about it. You'll just feel the flow. Been working on another song. Want to hear it? Later, maybe. Kinda in a hurry now. Bet you didn't get that shiner all by yourself. Um... Oh, man? Yeah, forgot to wake him up. He was late getting to work. I mean... I kind of deserved it. Grab my alarm from the night before. Later. Couldn't tell his ass from his open. elbow. You're not gonna need it? Can't stand that fucking thing. Need mm, wheels, wheels and a good, good driver, driver for the day. Couple, Couple things, things in town I gotta take care of. No problem. I'll take you. My mom wakes out when I don't tell her I'm leaving. But it's not like she can hear me when I try to warn her. 
You ready? Hey, so when I play a lot, my fingers hurt. What do I do to stop them? You don't. Metal strings cut into your fingertips make them sore. Just how it is. Oh. Don't worry. Play long enough and you'll get calluses. Start hitting What do you think you're doing, you little shit? We're going out. Where? Uh, just out for a sec. Be back soon. Back inside, now. I'm not about to let you go out, do who knows what, you hear? For fuck's sake, you swipe my keys again? Inside. Now, you shit. Hey, relax. Why so tense? Steve's helping me out. He'll be back in two hours, tops. I decide when the punk comes, goes, what he does, not you. He won't come back empty-handed. Two hours. And you hand me those eddies as soon as you come through the door. All right, Dad. Who the hell's that? Who the fuck knows? Another tramp? All look the same to me. Probably a yap. Don't have to pay me, you know. I know. But your dad's gonna want those eggs. Sure he is. But I know how to cobble some together myself. On that damn Hop in. Night and day. Where are you gonna get the scratch? Promise you won't tell? Merc's honor. Mrs. Juarez pays me to clean her place, but I don't gotta do anything. It's already clean. Think she's lonely. Just want someone to talk to. Could very well be true. Where to? Time machine. Nice! Saw Carrie Uridine there once. You a fan? Of the legend? Of course I am! Why? Aren't you? Carrie's all right. Heard something on the radio about Carrie using Silverhand's death, writing that to fame. Can't do much about media vultures. Got shit for brains. Especially the ones who cover music. Carrie's a damn good musician. That's all that counts. The real deal always has been, in every way. God, makes it sound like you know him. Cause I do. I'm gonna be a musician someday too. Gotta start scribing songs then. You'll get good with practice, like anything else worth doing. Sooner you start, the better. Got a few tunes in my head already. Cream. Lyrics don't come easy, though. I come up with anything. Seems like it's already been done, or it just sounds stupid. I kinda don't really know what to write about. Write what you know about. Golden rule of songwriting. Any writing, really. But I don't hardly know anything. Maybe our building, I guess. First of all, that's bullshit. And second, Tower Life's potentially great material. And third, there's always a third thing. You're young. Give yourself time. Ideas will come. Life will shake you, roll you, maybe embrace you. The music will find you.
We have arrived. Cream. Hang here a minute. Nah, I'm coming in. Flip through the new release. What can I do for you? Probably nothing new. We will see. Bird carriers and cops flying once in a while. Best music story in my city. Everybody pops by occasionally. Know why else they come? Got a feeling I'm about to find out. I don't snoop on customers, don't keep no record, and I don't run my mouth. So, how can I help you? Looking for a six string electric. Feast your eyes. want something solid and true. What, and they're not? Cheap clunkers made out of shit plywood that itself was made out of unseasoned veneers. Still playable. Just gotta know how. Rattle on the low E, cause the next boat. Nothing a screwdriver won't fix. Most important things, the pickups. Guitar's gotta have something decent there. Don't give half a fuck how it looks. Okay. No offense, but I'm looking for a real instrument. I'm willing to pay real money. Well, I said so. Come on, let's go out back. I'm coming too. Sure, I learned something. How's this? Whoa! To the right awesome. and left, the latest chromatics and Hendersons. Vintage axes in the back. Tensor Paradise. This is a replica? Real as you or me. Gotta be over a hundred years old. Double humbucker, neck screwed in, not glued. A beauty. Classic. Perfectly balanced, too. Barely needs holding. Deleuze Orphean. No. Not a fake? Take a good look. Relax, no. just making sure. Looks authentic, well maintained. Must be around shit, 70? 90 and still going strong. Fretboard's pure organic ebony. May I? Of course. Strum away. Best day ever. I'ma let you two play around in here alone. Else those savages out front will clean out half the store. Silverhand like that. You know, I read he never took any lessons. Chum was totally self-taught, made up his own style. How do you do that? I mean, sound just like him. Practice every day and you'll play like that, maybe better. You can learn anything, I promise. Uh, I don't know. I can learn a few riffs by heart, but it'll only ever be performing. Never next gen. Good point. That's, That's why, why it's, it's better, better to invent to your own jam. That's, That's what practice is for. And talent. Talent you got. Really? You think so? What, don't, don't think you're any good? A little self-criticism is useful. But believing in what you got, that's much more important. A real rocker boy. Doubt that'll be me, ever. Come on, have faith. 
I just don't say things I don't think are true. Not anymore. Best day ever. Fuck! My hands are shaking. Rockers are rebels. They always speak their minds. Tried once with my dad, you know. Didn't go so well. In time, you'll learn who you really are. What you really want from the world. I don't understand. Want to be a real rebel? Gotta be yourself first. Be authentic. Rebels are made, not born. Made from the punches life throws at them. The punches they take. You know, you're weird. But I like you anyway. Huh. <laughs> you're all right, kid. Gonna play some more? Nah, short on time. Let's pay. Delta out of here. should be in there. Blue hands. Can I drink anything else? No, mm, thanks. Here we go. See ya. Let's Delta. Still got some bits to find. thing. Where to? The cemetery. You got it. That was Perilous Future for you this fine afternoon. And speaking of Perilous Times, this just did. Arisaka... My dad says there's gonna be another Cope War. Liable to jump at each other's throats any day now. Think it's true? Think there'll be another war? Won't be another war, don't worry. Arasaka's a lot weaker than they let on. I hate the corpse. Me too. They squeeze you till your eyeballs pop, but it's never enough. They gotta rip each other's spines out, too. Got a friend who lives around here. Where? Can't see it from here. Just saying. He a good friend of yours? Invited me over to his house once. His mom made lunch. Then we went and hung out on the bridge. I like driving through here. It's nice. City looks alive. Um, because everyone's out walking around? Not what I mean. It's like we created a monster and never even noticed when it started to eat us alive. <laughs> like Frankenstein? Frankenstein's monster, you mean. You're right. It is nice out here. Never been out this way? No, I have. Just never noticed. Never had time to just sit down and watch. City slipped through my fingers. Just sped right by. Passed underfoot, overhead. I can't even say when it happened. Gonna write a song about it? Maybe. Whoa! I didn't know you had a gun. Hell, a preem. My dad used to sell ones like those. You gonna shoot someone? No, it's just a keepsake. Um, belong to someone important, right? Hmm. Important doesn't even come close. What are you gonna do with it? Put it back where it belongs.
Can I come with? No, wait here, okay? Won't be long. Okay. Standing in the place of eternal rest, lighting candles and spray painting are strictly forbidden. Obsessing over what happened. Couldn't forget you anyway. I'm wearing your goddamn face. Thanks for. Well, for everything. I can't believe it turned out this way. You'd still be queen of the afterlife if not for me. Although, I'm sure you'd say we finally got him good, huh? Yeah, we fucking got him. I shouldn't have dragged you into this. I'm sorry. now and I don't plan to waste it so this is goodbye to now hey hey, hey what's, what's this that? want one give all that up so should you bad for your body bad for your soul where to now hmm. I got a bus to catch the person you just uh, visited he died a while ago? She. And not that long ago. You miss her? A little, yeah. When my grandpa died, I missed him a lot. But now I only miss him sometimes. Hmm.
Avi, I know you're a free bird and all. You're gonna do what you want, when you want. But you could at least let me know you're alive, you know? I, I don't want to say anything, but you missed your last checkup. And like I told you a million times, uh, just call when you can, okay? See ya. Dejate de pendejadas. Straight to voicemail again? What's going on with you, eh? Lose your tongue or what? Wait one second. Ah, sí, claro. I know I wanted to tell you, I... I'm cooking a supper on Sunday. For Jackie's birthday. All his favorite food. <laughs> Chilaquiles. Tamales. If I could get some real corn. Uy, maybe even a lote. <laughs> It'd be nice if you could come over. Think about it. Cuídate, amorcito. Take care, love. Pick up, pick up. Pick... Fuck. Me. I, I don't know where we went wrong. Maybe uh, something happened or you needed to lay low. If you can, just give me some kind of signal that, that you're alive and everything's okay. Please. And if you ever need help, you know I'm here for you, right? Always. Stay safe. Call me when you hear this. Hello, V. How are things? Weather in the Badlands is pleasant as usual. My cooler melted, it's 90 degrees in the shade, and there's sandstorms heading straight for us. So yeah, you're missing out. No, but seriously. We're doing all right. Saul and I somehow get along, for better or for worse. But still, family's always growing, work's always piling up. But better to keep busy, right? And to think if it wasn't for you, I'd still be stumbling my way through Night City. So I just want to say thank you. For all you've done for me. I'd still be lost if you hadn't set me on the right track. All right, well, talk soon, V. Don't be a stranger. Hello, V. Um, Saul speaking. Heard about something big happening in Night City, with a certain V in the lead role. Uh, don't know what you plan to do now, but just remember, we always take care of our own. And, um, you're one of us now, V. You're an Aldo Caldo. Remember that. Ah, uh, take care of yourself, V. And see you around. V, hey! Can you hear me? Shit, is this thing recording? Okay, well, all of us have been wondering when you're finally gonna drop by. We can get a barbecue going, knock a few back, do a couple of races, or pay a friendly visit to the Raff and Shiv. Guess what I'm trying to say is, well, Badlands could use a badass like you, V. Don't know what you got on your plate right now, but remember, you're welcome out here anytime. All right, now, take care. B, hey. So, here's the thing. A couple fellas from the 5th Precinct busted a shop selling illegal iron. Sawed-offs, stun guns, mustard gas canisters. Orders from on up were to blow it all to the ground. But then I thought, maybe there's a better way to use all this stuff for a good cause. I still remember what you did for us. For me and Randy. The city needs more people like you. But I want to make sure they're equipped. This one's on me, V. See you around. Before samurai committed to seppuku, they wrote to say a death poem. It contained their final thoughts about life about death. I have read many of them of late, 
Some are truly works of beauty. Yet, I am not a samurai, so I bid you farewell with simple words. Rot in hell, Kusana. Yeah. 